All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Wotakoi, OVA, OVA number two. two. All right, this is the blazing. Yeah, this is the last bit we'll be doing for Wotakoi. Yes. Really fun journey. We've mm -hmm. got a new show that we'll be following up with this after. Yep. Um, but okay, okay. So Hanako and Kabakura, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Still maybe. can't agree on who turned around first, but that's fine. That's maybe, fine. maybe the next uh, OVA will be about the newer couple in Possibly. Uh, Ko and, and, and Nalia. Yep, I would absolutely love that because, uh -huh. you know, Ko's a great character and she was introduced pretty close to the end of the season. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. any. And given that they're OVAs, first. it's something that is, you know, obviously canon, but it's something that could focus mm -hmm. on like a, a few chapters of the. Right of the manga or whatever that like specifically focus on you know not narumi and hirotaka you know exactly yeah, that yep. could be its own thing yeah that would be super adorable yeah but then this being the final ova i you know sad to see this show go mm -hmm. but it's uh yeah it's been a fun be, ride going to be a fun 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 deal it's yeah. not necessarily going to like fit as a proper finale though because no, ova and all that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly mm -hmm. but if i could expect anything maybe maybe naoya and ko get spied on by the older couples mm, and yes. they're like <gasps> and they're trying to like yeah you know definitely help you know that could be funny now just actually finds out that ko is a girl or maybe even that she likes him too much, too oh. soon. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Hey! Naya! Go! Ah! No friends? Oh, group hangout. That way it's not a date. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes! Who could say no to that face? No. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, you like okay. that game? Mmm. Ah! 98% of 5%! Wow. Oh my god! Uh, uh. <gasps> okay. Good, good, good. You're thinking about too much. Yeah, you're thinking about too much. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Don't run. Don't run. No, 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 Oh. No, 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 the crying is because. No! Wow. He didn't know what to the do. first time ever he's made someone cry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. あげます。次に会えた時にはしっかり謝れば大丈夫。きっと笑って許してくれるって。泣いてたんだよ。全然分かってあげられなかった。また泣かせちゃうかもしれない。せっかく笑ってくれたのに。あって<笑> 
の子も今困ってるはず泣くのは一人でもできるけど笑うのって一人じゃできないああ、OK That's true Yeah All right あとは会って話すだけじゃん肝心のその子が大学来てくれないんだってば暇を持て余した Yeah 大学にずにこもる場所といえば一つ And maybe forget about something that's emotionally vexing タイムアタック自己ベスト更新なのに Wow, the way she's talking out loud to herself, like because she wishes that someone else was here for this.、Mm -hmm. Classic. She's got, the web, she's got the web page on the side that has like the spawn times and stuff. Uh huh. If this was an action show, I would totally expect something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Someone that boosted, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> She's freaking out, too. <laughs> And he doesn't know home r u n so he's so typing so slow. Muko typing the kid. Slash bow! Yeah! Jotto, Oreno Garani Henna Kilis as him. Utokonoko to Omoteta Weni, Nakodo Kizuke, Tanoni, Kizuke, Kome, Nandini Fujikun Gayama, Moto to Eva, what does he got? I know that to you, Kavata, Skoka Kinis, Tata, Sayako, Hadati, Nanta, I am ever in the Roki. Yes, I am not the Tatakanaki Keko, this. Gokayo Maneta gave me a Watashino. これ以上あなたが気にかける必要はないと思います。What? 割とお子じゃね。何これ。What is this? 特殊エネミーです。こちらの攻撃は一切通りませんが、数分で消滅するので、それまでとにかく走って。お兄さんのクラスなら回避アクションが使えるはずなので。どれ？<笑>Double S rank. He's、yeah. got it a bunch, but triple S. Oh my god. But now Ko is getting connected to like the other people in the group, you know? Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> She hasn't figured it out yet. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, so you helped me with that. Yeah. Oh, realization. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Not I like that this like whole episode basically is just for them to. Oh, she's dressed up like a girl, like like all all pretty and stuff. Oh! <laughs> His face! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So they originally had four tickets. Mm -hmm. This one became a date. Yep. Nice. <laughs> but then they go back to the arcade just constantly. Ah, lucky. She gets him the plushie. It's perfect. Right. Want to try this again? Oh. All right. Okay. Oh, that okay. was so much fun. It's just a montage of cuteness. Mm-hmm. ゲーセンで I think you you stuttered on the boyfriend part, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, I mean. Oh. Oh no! They're, they're feeling the hand of like holding, holding each other's hand, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So then she comes in to wait. He's gonna think that she friend-zoned him. Ah, determination! All right, what? Come on, what, what is, is this music? You, no, you can't end this here. We gotta, we gotta see this. No, don't. You bastards! Ah! No! Ah! No! Ah! That's okay. That's okay. It's going to take time. Yeah. They just met. <laughs> like. Yeah. To be fair, in this episode, we got a lot of progress. Uh -huh. He found out that she was a girl and thought that she might have been about to confess to him, and then, oh, did she friend zone me? Ah, no, but I don't like that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take action. You know. Right. So. Oh. Does she work in a bookstore? Hmm. Does she work at a bookstore? Maybe. 
Wouldn't be surprised. I have extra attachment now to anime with bookstores because of Honda-san, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad it was something as innocuous as a bathroom. Just, <laughs> you know, she's like, I'm nervous. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And it's like, oh, yes, please, please see her when she walks out. And then, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And credit scene? Maybe? 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 <sighs> no, okay. Because there wasn't even an OP this episode, was there? There wasn't. Yeah. They really put a lot into it. Huh. Okay. I, All that right. Was, that was a really sweet, just that was just that was sweet awesome. bit of just wholesomeness. Yep. We we get basically uh, exactly kind of what we thought we would get. Mm -hmm. Is something with regards to Ko and Naoya, and given that Hanako and Kabakura were the entire focus of the previous OVA, we do not yep. get any of them in this OVA, which right. I'm I'm very appreciative of because in a lot of ways. Having Narumi and Hirotaka be the older sister, older brother mm -hmm. of this kind of young right. fledgling relationship, that's plenty of room. Yeah, they, they um, taken up basically by them. Exactly, and I like that they didn't take up any more room than they than needed. Than they it did. was it was yes. just enough to basically be kind of that sounding board, um, to keep things moving along, sort of, and uh -huh. and and there you go, right? Yep. And and what we got here. I gotta was say, quite a bit. was was quite a bit. Like as far as considering how how recently Ko was introduced, right, yeah. and that in this episode we got like we started with now not even realizing that she was a girl to mm -hmm. thinking, oh, oh, is she gonna confess? No, wait, hold on. She kind of did, but she kind of did, but then she sort of friend zoned me. But she backstepped a little. Right, bit. right, yeah, and, yeah. and I don't know how I feel about that. So I think I, I think I might this do something about this. It's not what I want, this. you know. Right. That's a cool. That's a cool like plot, uh, like cliffhanger to go, to leave us on because mm -hmm. you know this this show could totally have as many seasons as it wanted. Yep, and a season two would do. be wonderful. Yeah, the story though felt really fast paced though in a mm -hmm. way that made sense for an OVA. But if this was a typical like episode of the anime, I would almost be a little bit disappointed because it oh, felt like sure. they montaged through quite a bit of foundational stuff. Because given that they just met each other, I I, I could really tell that this was maybe like adapted from like a bunch of disparate chapters yeah, or either, something like yeah. that. And then mm -hmm. they just smashed it all together or something, or cut out a lot of stuff so they could right. get it all in one episode. Or like or like or from the one light game. novel that's like, hey, let's tell all this the stories. Oh wait, this is a manga. Oh, it is a manga. That's yeah, yeah. right. Um, yeah, but I like I, I feel like I feel like this this is the sort of thing that um, yeah it makes sense to be relegated to the OVA, mm -hmm. and yet if if it were to be in like the show proper, it would I would totally have seen seen it being like the like pieces of this episode just spli like spliced and then mixed throughout the season. Yeah, exactly. You know? That that's that's the kind of thing that, that I would have expected too. But because it's an OVI, I totally mm -hmm. get it. Because and they're they're basically like, well we can't commit to making a season two yet, so here's exactly. some little bonus content. Yep. Yeah. Also, one of the things that I, I feel like makes this work a bit better for these two characters in particular than it would have necessarily for like other characters mm -hmm. is that Ko her social anxiety is so extreme that really just being in an environment with other people and not freaking out like is a win is a win right yeah. so so even if they don't Naya necessarily helps a lot in that regard right Naya helps a ton in that regard and and now yeah we've we've seen that he is perfectly able to connect with somebody simply by being with the person yeah even if they're not like talking about anything like in depth or whatever right right so so in that sense i feel like like if this had been one of the other couples i feel like it really would have it would have been a lot more obvious, you know, in a sure. negative way. But but sure. with this one, yeah. I feel like it it does it does kind of work because it's basically just okay, Ko, how how are you how are you doing, right? And now is <laughs> so oblivious throughout most of it right. that it's, you know, it just sort of it's it's another day for him, right? Yeah, I really like also the fact that the conflict centers around things that work so much better for them being the younger of the couples. Mm -hmm. If they were the age of you know narumi and hirotaka i wouldn't get as invested here yeah there'd be a lot less patience there'd for, be a lot for less it. patience yeah. for that and mm -hmm. in some ways that's because of what the show has established that a lot of these characters are just like oh why don't we just start dating yep like that's the kind of like maturity level that this right. uh anime goes through whereas in typical anime mm -hmm. there's much more of the conflict that we see here with yep. uh Naoya and Ko where it's a lot of oh does she like me right. does he like me uh does it, 
uh, you know, it felt uh, so very miscommunication stuff. That's you know, right. slightly you know, you know, melodramatic. But it's okay because mm -hmm. you know they're nervous and goofy and cute and yep. adorable and wonderful. So, it yeah. it felt very very shojo. Like I like I feel uh, like sure. if if the because the I could see this show not being as popular as it kind of deserves because it's harder to market maybe to some of the anime community because it's like oh being a functional adult in a relationship that's also a nerd like that that can yeah. that could be pretty specific right yeah. whereas classic like ooh there's a really handsome guy who's super understanding and friendly and awesome and then there's like the shy girl you know who you know is kind of nervous and everything and then mm -hmm. he sort of sweeps her off her feet without even realizing it that's like that feels like it's like classic yeah like, that feels like it like feels high like, school rom-com type yeah, stuff that even feels like a lot school. of people would really enjoy that yeah you know? exactly yeah. and 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 to that extent this feels sort of like the ah with all of the with all of the couples in this show that are sort of playing to the the uh, the the flavor that this show is is choosing to take, mm -hmm. this is sort of that you return know return to old form. Re return to old form, right? Yeah. And uh, Ko, in a lot of the dynamics that we showed here, she made a lot of uh, really significant progress with regards to how she was interacting with everybody, and I think that endears me a lot to her character really quickly mm -hmm. and thus the montage bit actually helps in that regard oh okay because then yeah. we get to quickly see that progress achieved yeah rather than a lot of you know cycling in the same kind of circle of the, the problem mm -hmm. specifically one and also the fact that now being this adorable puppy dog that he is he just kind of grabs hold of her multiple times mm -hmm. and is like hey whoa whoa yep don't don't like separate immediately right like, like, You're gonna make me sad if you do that. Like, and, and I, I really, really love the way things were kept out of that area, except for the one part where it really scared um, Ko, which was mm -hmm. the bathroom reveal. Right. And that was because Naoya had never made someone cry before, and that's a fun way to explain the why he didn't, you know, why why uh -huh. he let her go. Right. Because he didn't understand what the tears meant. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Like it's. It's something where because of the char the characters and the way they are, certain like tropes and stuff that I would expect of like a you know like a romance anime right mm -hmm. of the, like the the person grabbing the other person's hand and then running off together and it meaning so much like no it really mm -hmm. does mean so much for Ko because right. she's it's very hard for her to be in those social situations when yeah. she's hanging out with his two friends as well it's like um, alert danger Will Robinson this is a lot of people mm -hmm. you know and then sure. but then at the same time. Co, maybe because she had the perspective focus for this episode. Okay. I really felt satisfied with regards to her agency because one of the things that I can feel sometimes whenever I get the sense of like one of the people in the relationship in the romance, you know, story being like, like so awesome, com like comparatively to like the other person's perspective of like, oh, I don't know how to, you know, be social and you know they're like just the social butterfly and things like that uh, the difference between someone having a lot of self-confidence or not right exactly is that okay. i would want to make sure that that uh both characters feel like they are being active and making decisions and and that it's that it's not they're they're not just being passive and then the other person does all the pursuing or the whatever etc and sure. and co while her while her steps were not the same kind of steps that now would take because they're very different kinds of people she was making a lot of progress in this episode. Yeah, but that's part of the it's part of the thing though is that his problem is that he's bad at games. Like that's his only like real, uh, like problem and maybe being of, oblivious. Well, yeah, yeah, but, but that yeah. was that was part of the whole thing of the oh, mm -hmm. I'm actually a girl. Right. Like that exactly. That was mostly where that was coming from like mm -hmm. specifically so in, in that respect there is an an imbalance of like oh totally like i, I oh, am yeah. someone that doesn't know how to do relationships which is where the conflict is primarily right surrounding. now is is much more functioning than co yes, yeah exactly absolutely exactly so it makes it really sweet that he's not impatient with her mm -hmm. or he's not having those things there and i right. think trying to uh like making sure we acknowledge that disparity makes a lot of their relationship work a lot more because she is able to be free mm -hmm. and see that kind of other side of social interactions that she hasn't seen before because she feels so comfortable around Naoya, mm -hmm. which is something that happens invisibly in the little deep-hilled moments where she's like, oh, right. oh yeah. 
like him being like, let's go play. And like, yeah, yeah. little ears and stuff. She's just like, oh, you're so mm-hmm. cute. I can't say no. Like, oh my yeah, gosh. How, how can I say no to that face? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And it's just. Ugh, One of the other things it. that I really liked that happened in this episode is when Hirotaka went up to Ko and was like, hey. Mm, yeah. We, you know, we're, we're similar in a lot of ways and, and, you know, and all that stuff. But, but the, the end result of what he said was, I feel like I haven't necessarily been the best brother. Thank you for liking now. Yeah. That, that, that was really cool. That was really cool because, because while, um, while it would be easy for, for Ko to think that, or, or even us, the audience to think that her sort of teaching now how to play games and stuff and getting him excited about games, even though he doesn't really get much better is like not that important from the standpoint of the, like the relationship compared to like helping her overcome her social anxiety, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's still something where it's very important to now because that's, he might be able to say connect better with his brother now, you know, like, like, like little, little things where it's the, where possibly it's, it's something that he probably wanted to be able to do to connect with somebody who was good at games and things like that, that would be patient with him. And now he's getting that, you know, right. Granted, very different circumstances, but yes. you know, yes, very yeah. Different. So I, I, but yeah, yeah. using that um, little flashback set in a framing device for building up the reasons as to why the date happened, because mm. that was their first date. It's just something that the show That's doesn't true. really draw attention to, because mm-hmm. the characters don't think about it or say it out loud, right? Or anything like that. But uh-huh. that was their first date. Yep. And like date meaning like one on one, basically, mm-hmm. but the sequence of what led up to it was a couple fold there. One, Hirotaka first comes up to her and basically gives the, ah, thank you for liking now. Now, then, before even going into work, had a conversation with his friend Mm -hmm. about going on to the movies together and he's like, hey, I've got four of them here. And he's like, no, 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 no. We'll go. We'll go on our own. Thank you. You two go together. Oh, Why? You don't want to go to be the better. movies with us? <laughs> It'll be better that way. Yeah. Okay. Then, mm-hmm. after Hirotaka has already left, you know, the, at some point is break or when he serves her, sure. her drink or something like that, he then comes over with the, the, you know, the ticket and the napkin and stuff. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, that's, that's sweet. But at that point, um, Ko has already kind of had that moment where, you know, Hirotaka is basically like, thank you for liking him. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I like him. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do. Is it that obvious? Has everyone been able to tell, you know? Right. But then he invites her out uh-huh. on a date, like a classic uh, date. Yeah. And she's just like, oh my God. And she gets all dotted up. And that's the thing. I'll bet you anything <laughs> that it was a thing of where Hirotaka found out about it or now found out about sure. Hirotaka and then Hirotaka tells Narumi. Narumi is like oh I'll help. I got this. I got yeah. you. Yeah. And then because it's planned ahead of time mm-hmm. it's like I'll get you an outfit. Right. And then she's just like okay uh-huh. sure. Yep. Yep. And this all leads up to the oh the date right. where she actually does confess but she can't say all the, the, the feelings. The, the, the boy part of friend yeah. sort of. L- L- uh, cut my throat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I love that so much because that's where her agency was. Yes. Was that she basically decided, mm-hmm. no, I can't express those feelings. Right. Now, she did say those feelings can never be expressed, which is a little bit. Well, um, it's, it's the. Um, uh, the, Probably a bit of a dramatic, you know, kind oh, of. Oh sure, thing there, sure, because everything's dramatic, you know. It's, oh, the heart is beating and doki yes. doki and all that stuff. Uh-huh. But um, uh, it's it's something that on the one hand I could see myself being frustrated by something like that because it's like oh mm. backpedaling and all that stuff, dragging out the drama and you know and whatnot. Right, right. But at the same time, no, the fact that the confession almost even happened was insane. Like that yeah. that's that's crazy progress on Ko's part. The fact that she then backpedals and freaks out, it's like hey girl, you got that far. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, you know. You're great. Yeah. So you're really good. Oh. But okay. Yeah. Now just the wait for season two. Yeah, the wait for season two. Uh. Um but yeah, I, I would say that we've got the we've got the full kind of spread on the three relationships mm-hmm. as a whole. 
the two OVAs were used in some ways as a bit of a backstory for for both relationships sure. now. So yeah. if they ever want to set the stage for head, yeah, this is where the relationships are at. Yep. And I, I'm, I'm excited to see how the show would continue if Me they too. got more. Last thing I want to say about this episode is mm. I loved the fact that Ko sees Narumi and now <laughs> together and then immediately freaks out, right? Because because one, Narumi was actually dressed up for like a date and stuff, right? So yeah. so she can tell and she's like, ah. But also it was something where um the the fast pace of the episode helped in this regard. That is the kind of thing that I would expect to bring in melodrama and like and like basically just be like a a backpedaling like within the narrative on like the progression of the romance and things like that right. but it was something that was done for all the comedy and the and the empathy of oh no co ah you know freaking out and everything but then it was resolved in like three minutes yeah right because suddenly hirotaka arrives right and he's got the big boy teddy bear and he's like <laughs> yeah. oh. mm. and they both like trade <laughs> do, 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 do. no oh. they both trade the bears and then give them to their respective Partners. Oh, did you, did you get that? I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I yeah, love it. That was, that was really cool. That's that was great. Really cool. Or wait, wait, hold on. Actually, no. Did they trade? Let me. You let might me, have. Let me, let me double check here, because there's a possibility. No, that they they didn't trade. Actually, they just gave them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just yeah. gave them to them. But mm -hmm. it was more of the thing of oh, now we'll now we'll go and do no, our we'll game. No, get serious. And the yeah. I'm sorry, I held the you. Take back. out our dominators and <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, only so double S. Oh, rank. Oh, it's my darn. first time playing this game. Yeah. Uh, not bad for you know first time. You know, mm -hmm, triple mm -hmm. S. That's the first time I've ever seen my brother compliment someone. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I think it was about games specifically. I don't think that was specified. <laughs> oh, okay. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to know what's happening mm. next week, we'll be starting Horemiya. Horemiya will be the follow-up show for mm -hmm. uh, Wotokoi. Yep. So if you want to see the first episode's reaction and discussion of Horemiya right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if ain't that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.